Hello, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, we are gonna talk about the second strategy to emulate inheritance in relational database. The second strategy here is called uh, join tables, and uh, which is very similar to uh, when we talk about a one-to-one, -one, we're using shared primary key. Okay, so let's go through the code. Uh, I'm gonna create a new package that join the table. Okay. Oh, by the way, when you run, trying to run the code, make sure you uncomment the entity because uh, I. Uh, because make sure you because I commented all the entities okay so make sure there's no conflict because I'm always using the same demo so the same thing we're gonna have account okay we're gonna have an account class which is abstract class please allow me to copy okay I'm gonna copy from here to here oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry 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 which has account ID balance and uh, this one is what? This one is a customized uh, uh, <laughs> constructor. And now I add the entity. I'm gonna add a setter and a getter. Okay, that's it for now. Why do you have an, oh, no argument constructor. Okay, no argument constructor. Very good. So next one, we will create a checking, checking, and also sorry, please allow me to copy because these things is the same. Okay, if you don't know, please go to my previous single table that video, and also for the checking, we also need to add uh, what. We also need to add those things. Where's my chicken? This one. Okay. Okay. Mm, here have uh, should have a primary key. No, I don't want to have primary key. Why to have uh, exception now? This is uh, so weird for this. I, I just ignore it. Because the primary key is in the account, okay. Do I in extend the correct account? Okay. Uh. Uh. Let me. Let me extend. From account, join tables. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now it's gone. Okay. I think probably I extend from the this account, single table account. Okay. So last one is the seven. Savings also extends from the account, okay? And the saving has a private uh, double, which is called what? Uh, interest, okay? And we also has uh, what? Constructor, okay? And for the saving, we also have those things. Okay. Good. And now, uh, for saving and checking, Okay, we annotated with entity, but make sure for inheritance, for checking and saving, there's no primary key because the primary key is inside the superclass account. Okay, so if we just do like now, it's gonna be join tab, uh, sorry, it's gonna be single table. And in our demo, in this video, we want to use join the table. How to do that? Inheritance, remember? We're using strategy and using inheritance. Here you choose joined, okay? And uh, when we add joined, hibernate will create a three table for us, a three table for us. One is account, one is checking, one is saving. And how to find this balance belongs to checking. It's gonna using something called a shared primary key. So first, let me run and show you the table generated, okay? How to run? I just copy this one here. 
tt good and i'm gonna remove those things here okay and i have uh, uh, okay to 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 what thing to clear the imports okay just like this and now let's run A little bit slow. Mm, always slow. Okay, so all the tables are generated successfully. Oh, ow. oh my god. Okay, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, okay. Three tables generated account checking savings. Three tables. And when we take a look at account, it's gonna have ID balance which match our. I have I, I know how to do this okay it like this yeah 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 wait wait one more time okay hey okay good and here yeah is it too small for you guys how can I make it uh, this one go away go away okay good better right and uh, here, let's take a look at, okay? So for the account, have ID balance. Then let's go to the account. Account have ID balance, okay? And for my checking, checking have limit ID. What is this ID? This ID is the shared primary key as this one, as the account, this ID. Okay, checking ID and limit. And in our checking, we only have limit, but it have ID here, which will be shared by the with this one. They have a same ID, the same ID value. It means a checking account. Same for the savings. It's gonna have interest. Interest is a field inside the saving class, and it's gonna have ID. Okay, and let now let me uh save some value. Okay, to show you. So here I uh, were using 300 and 20, uh, 10 and here we using 3 5000 very rich 800 okay I don't have that line you know the what's thing yellow line it means you have a duplicate code so I change it here so make sure that I have that line so now we let's run again to see the actual value being stored okay uh, run 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 <sighs> Seems very good. <laughs> uh, let's see. First, go to the account. It should have uh, two records, right? One ID balance three hundred is for our checking. Two is for our five thousand for the saving. So now in the checking, it should have one ten. Checking should have ten one one ten. Okay, this ID map to uh, this one share the same value as uh, this one. Okay, and for seven, you should see two and uh, eight hundred. Two eight hundred. So uh, how to find the balance for this interest account using this shared value and go to, uh, to and go to account to find this two. So the balance for this uh, seven with this interest is uh, how is uh, five thousand. Okay, so that's it for this second strategy to emulate inheritance, which is called a joined tables. And if you have more questions, you can leave a comment below. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please subscribe and share. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye.